Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Here we are on the World of Tanks replay site where people load their best replays. We're going to review today China because we've done USSR, Germany and USA. Now let's do France. Who wants to do China? I'm just kidding. We're going to do China. We're going to do them in order. Show them all. These are all the results. The best games, thousands of them that people loaded. And we're going to sort them by damage and see if there is an overpowered, a broken, uh, which one's the best? Is there any domination going on? Let's check the top 10 results here. Number one, WZ111 model 5A. It looks like a lot of them. Yeah, that's the tier 10 heavy tank. Number two, second highest damage, same tank. Third highest damage game, WZ111 5A, same tank. Fourth highest damage game. Well, the WZ111 Quillen, which is the same tank. It's just a gold version of it. The 113. Oh, a different tank. A medium tank. Excellent. And look at this. One result for the WZ111 Model 14, the Tier 9 heavy tank. Good job, buddy. That's an anomaly. Great game. Uh, what's next? The reward tank. The 121B, the Tier 10 medium. Another 121B. Finally, in the top 10, at number 9 is the Tier 10 TD. And then another WZ111 5A equivalent. So, as far as China goes, it's looking like uh, go heavy or go home. The heavy tank dominating, right? Uh, five results in the top 10 is WZ111 5A. So, we have to watch one of those games. Uh, which one should we watch? We'll watch the top damage game of the WZ115A. This one here. Let's uh, download that game. And we will download uh, which one? Well, let's pick let's pick the 113. Why not? Those two games. We'll download these two games and we will watch them and talk a little bit more about China number one. You guys enjoy these. Uh, and at least you've let me know in the comments and by your views that you enjoy this type of stuff. We did a broken tank series in the past, but uh, some things have changed in the game. There's been new tanks added. And it's always interesting to see which tanks dominate. Is there, when you do look at those results, is there a tank that dominates the result? Which means, hey, that's the line you should go down. Right? That's, that's where the money is. Or is there five or six or seven or eight different kinds of tanks? Uh, in that. Like the German. We did the German and there was a, a medium tanks and heavy tanks and TDs. It was well sorted. Uh, or like the Russian. We looked at the Russian tech tree and every single one but for one in the top ten was all reward tanks. If you ain't got the Russian reward, you ain't got it. You're, if you're playing the tech tree tanks, yeah, there's good tech tree tanks too. But the results, the, the elite results dominated by the uh, reward tanks. Anyways, let's have a look at what's happening in this game. Who is it? Sabaton, bounce my stuff. I like your name. Has gone to the one cubbyhole that is uh, worth going to on this terrible map that Wargaming introduced. They call it Berlin, because it's Berlin. But the way it's designed here for this game is basically everybody goes to either this cubbyhole or the cubbyhole where the I is seven. <laughs> they say, Ooh, right through your turret. It's such a dumb map. Everyone just lines up in the, oh, you drove by, you pay. Oh, he wasn't reloaded. You shoot I is seven's lower place. It's all about getting to these, this spot here, guys. These four little squares on this map. But if you're a fast tank with a good turret, which he is, but holy shit, right through? And that wasn't even premium ammo, Disha. That's, uh, that's just very unfortunate. I'll explain that in a minute, but uh, this guy's sleeping, so you might as well shoot him. This map is all about getting to either this cubbyhole or the other cubbyhole, and everyone else just kind of sits around and tries to shoot. And so if you have the fastest tank with good turret, like IS-7, or WZ-1115A, you reign supreme. If you're Super Conqueror and someone gets here first, you're screwed. Because the cubby holes only fit one tank. It's just, he's still sleeping. <laughs> just, just having a nap there. <laughs> Anyways, dumb map, whatever. 
Why did he get penned twice through his heavily armored turret without those guys shooting uh, gold ammo? Well, guys, that is an R. Oh, shoot his lower yeah, head. He's running food. He's probably got a great crew. He's spamming heat. That's why these shots are going in. Why did he get penned through the turret? He's still sleeping. Why not shoot the I-7 and let that guy keep sleeping? It's because there's RNG in your penetration rolls, guys. A lot of people don't really think about that, but it's true. There's RNG on your damage roll. It's your alpha of your gun, plus or minus 25%. And everyone understands that because the game tells you after each shot, you know, how much damage you did. And you can say, oh, a high roll. Oh, I low roll. But there's, uh, there's RNG on your penetration roll. When you pull the trigger, if your gun has 250 pen, you can, it's 250 pen plus or minus 25%, plus drops off with distance depending on the uh, ammunition. These guys are almost point blank, so there's not a lot of drop off. But if you have 250 pen, you can roll 195 pen, you bounce. Well, these guys are shooting at them. They're shooting regular ammo with 250 pen. They high rolled their penetration. Uh, 250 plus 25 percent. You know, you're over 300 pen. You're three, 311 pen. Oh, penetration, and it's just, in my opinion, too much RNG on the pen rolls causes some wanky stuff. But anyway, anyway, that's beside. Oh, you were doing so good in your cubby hole, my friend. Why did you leave your cubby hole? I don't know if this is going to be a commentary on the stupidity of this map or complaining about the uh, RNG on the penetration rolls, but a lot of people don't know that. But if you're watching me, you know that. Let's get back to what the topic at hand, shall we? The Chinese tech tree. If you're gonna go down the Chinese tech tree, uh, it looks like, man, I was surprised to only see one. The tier 10 TD. That TD, the WZ113G FT, it has a gun that does 750 alpha. It's heavily armored. And it just tells you it's slow, and the meta in this game is speed and dishing out the DPM. And uh, this heavy tank has speed and it dishes out the DPM. If you're going to go down the Chinese line, guys, go down the heavy line and get yourself this. It's a struggle, though, because I played it in the tier 7 and the tier 8, and the, even the tier 9 are, in my opinion, not that great. And he's sleeping too. Oh, everyone's sleeping. <laughs> he's still sleeping. He's wondering, hey, Daddy, what happened? My bed's not very comfortable, Daddy. Go down the heavy line and get yourself the WZ-1115A. Now, I've also played this one, and i got to tell you that I bet if we looked at all these top five games in the top ten, yeah, there's a common denominator that they all have their running food, and they all have really good crews with the gunnery skills, and maybe even some bond equipment on there, because I tell ya, you, know, you, you, you listen to the Unicoms and the professionals and the people that play thousands of games a month, and they say, oh yeah, one WZ-115A, fantastic game. Uh, but yeah, you try and play it without the food and without the, the bond equipment and without the five skill crew. And this thing, the gun handling is not that good. But as you can see, the way he has it set up, and that's just how this game works. I, I think it's the same with every tank, really. But it's pronounced in the Chinese line, and even in some Russian tanks. They don't have good gun handling stock. The, the stats you read are if you don't have anything. But once you add everything, and now there's field modifications, and once you add everything, then the gun handling's good. <laughs> Some tanks you start off with good gun handling, and then once you add all the stuff, it's they're incredible, right? Like the left gun, fantastic if you fully equip that. But uh, a tank like this, I think you need to. Ta oh, Razor PP, he's excited. He had a great game. Let's see, Confederate and high caliber. Look at the, just incredible. While I was uh, ranting or blabbering there, he did over 12,000 damage, guys. This thing pumps out the damage like there's no tomorrow. Fantastic game. You would have lost credits, but you didn't re-equip, resupply, that's why. But you lost a shit ton of credits. Let's watch the 1-1-3 one, one, game. Who is this? This is 
Uh, rock attack, scotch from the Amway clan. You, this clan sells Amway. Oh no, Anway. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> this is another one. I, I think with the uh, there's certain tank lines that require the fantastic crew and and, and equipment uh, and everything to excel. And so the really good players think, wow, these tanks are great. Because you know, they're running them that way. But the regular schmo players say, I, I can't make that tank work. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of important keep that in mind. Chinese tanks. <laughs> Try and play the Chinese light tanks without gun handling skills and see how many shots you hit. Anyways, this guy has himself the medium tank. Now this thing does not have gun depression and he's going straight to the ridge line. Look, he does not have gun depression. Probably one of the worst gun depression in the game. And he's gone to the ridge line. This is gonna be interesting. How is he gonna make it work with no gun depression on that ridge line? Uh, let's just hope that the enemies are all Muppets. <laughs> he can't point his gun down. How are you gonna do it? It takes some creativity and some angling and using the topography and waiting for the enemies to make mistakes. Is, and he's made a mistake. <laughs> and a good healthy portion of heat. Now guys, if you didn't notice, this guy's loadout, he started the game with three regular shells. A shit ton of heat and one HG shell. Three, oh, and a, a Muppet. The guy with the best gun depression on the enemy team has just committed suicide. He started the game, buddy, buddy, <laughs> rack attack. You started the game with three regular ammo. Like, I, you know, it's like, why? Like, why bother? <laughs> what, were you trying to save credits? <laughs> he fired his three regular rounds and now he's spamming. He, do you usually only get three shots in a game? And so the heat is extra? Like, if you're gonna have a loadout like that, guys, I just, just, just have, from me to you, just load all heat then, right? Are you doing the three regular ammo just to... <laughs> Look at me, I don't spam nothing but heat. I've loaded three regular shells. Like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen, but hey, whatever. <laughs> if, it, uh, if it's stupid but it works, it's not stupid. But now he's got no gun depression again, so he has to hope his enemies are Muppets, and they are. They just keep... They just keep committing. Oh. They, they just keep committing into his gun, which is just the weirdest thing. That Kranwagen could have eaten them for breakfast. Uh, that's, uh, I guess, the stars aligned. The one. The Kranwagen should have been the king of this ridgeline. Now he's running away. Daddy, he shot me up the ass. And it's just uh, maybe a combination of he really knows what he's doing. He's a good player, and there's just. A myriad of Muppets on the enemy team. It looks That looks like what's happening. This tank is by no means overpowered in my opinion. It only had one result in the top 10. Two results for the 1-2-1-B, which is interesting. I think there's uh, people getting the rewards and they're playing them. But all in all in all, my, uh, my no BS assessment here is if you're going to go down the Chinese line, Go for the heavy line. Don't bother with the TD line. There's a reason they don't have, they only have one in the top 10. There's, a, there's probably multiple reasons. Not a lot of people have grinded it and the people that have don't like it too much. And, and the meta, you know, like look at these poor Yag Panza E100s. The meta is fast and DPM, speed and DPM, and, and these guys don't have speed and they don't have DPM. And they're going to die like Muppets now. <laughs> they haven't even left the base. They didn't even try to go anywhere. Ah, uh, you guys... You just have to... He's got armor though, right? Oh, he bounced his thousand... Yeah, he bounced. He's, he's got armor though, right? He's got armor. So, there, there is that. If you're going to play one of these big slow tanks, you can rely on your armor. Yeah, right. It's so sad. It's so sad what the... It's so disgusting what they've done to this game to the slow, heavily armored tanks. Medium tank just presses two, doesn't have to flank, doesn't have to worry. Just have to shoot you right through the front. That's how the game works. It's free to pay. <laughs> if you pay, you pen. It's okay. 
pay to pen. It's not pay to win. Not everyone wins who pays, but it's pay to pen. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this uh, series. We're going to do this for all the nations. If you're enjoying yourself, consider, consider if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed yet, to subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. That would make me happy. And uh, it would get the videos more exposure. So I would really appreciate it if you do. And uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think of the assessment. Uh, just a little bit of more entertainment than assessment. We do learn a little bit when we sort the videos like this and the results. So you get to know hey, if you're going to go down a certain line, which tank uh, has the most domination, which one seems to be the best, you know, which, uh, which one is, uh, is worth getting. And uh, I think we learn if you don't see any in the top 10, you know, maybe don't bother going down a certain branch. Might as well go for the best. Now let me know what you guys think in the comments and we will continue right after we finish watching Arak attack who's giving this IS-4 a heart attack and notice he didn't shoot the IS-4 in the track wheel never shoot the IS-4 in the track wheel it'll just get absorbed it's just the way it's designed it has nothing to do with the armor you can shoot an IS-7 in the track wheel but if you shoot an IS-4 in the track wheel it does not matter what your pen is or what ammo you use front track wheel when he's angled usually um, bounce. Now why is he doing this? Well, he's got no more ammunition. He's fired it all. Raise the PP. Fantastic game. Let's have a look at those post-game stats, guys. Confederate Steel Wall. High caliber. Almost 10,000 damage. Almost. Not quite as good as the heavy tank. And you lost a shit ton of credits because you only pack three regular ammo. You you heat spammer. Catch you guys on the next one.